<clears throat> Hi, good evening. This is your host, this is your guy, DLG Repping. Otherwise, it's good morning or good afternoon all over the world to you ladies, to the gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls. Hope you've all had a nice day and keeping well and looking after yourselves. So, um, this is my match day preview of our game versus Liverpool at home. And um, Arsenal v Liverpool, over the last five years, we haven't beaten them in all competitions. We haven't beaten Liverpool for five years, and that includes all competitions. That's how I meant to drop it. For me, um, it's a fixture that I don't... I just, I just don't know where to um, begin because there's not many positives. There's a lot of negatives that outweigh the positives. And um, it's a fixture that I don't look forward to. I always dread it, looking at the team they have, looking at the squad. You look at the price assets in that first team and their squad depth in the bench and the price assets with it. it uh, their bench costs more than us. Let's put it that way there. First 11 costs more than us. Let's put it that way. Because they're better players. I mean, if you ask me to name one Arsenal player that are getting to Liverpool's starting 11. I mean, the only one I can think of is Tierney getting ahead of um, Robertson. Mm, no, not for now. We ain't got a right back better than this. No centre, no centre halves are better than this. The midfield, we've lost, hands down. Attack, you might have a case for Aubameyang, but either side of Salah and Mane, there's no chance. And that's the reality that we're dealing with. That is how far behind we are, behind them, Manchester City alone. But them alone, Liverpool, the champions, salute the champions. And when you say champions, you have to stand up with your legs Together, stand up, legs together, standing straight and say Champions Liverpool. You say Liverpool first and then you say the Champions. You stand up in that respect. You've got to put some, you got to put 100% to respect to their name. They are champions for a reason. And um, we're up against it. Um, will Liverpool put out a strong team? Possibly not. I don't want to support a strong team. And speaking of team selection, I'm going to get into it. My starting 11 and then my bench. So in goal, I'll tell you what, I'm going to give Matt M Macy a, um, a go. Damian Martinez should be rested for the Man City game because he deserves a rest. He's putting eight out of eight and nine t out of ten performances. He has been incredibly immense for us win, lose or draw so Damian Martinez he deserves his place in uh, I mean he deserves his rest but it, you know I'm going to come to that in a minute Um. yeah so Matt Macy gets the starting goal defence I'm going to change it up and I want a stronger defence I'm going to play a back four so my right back Cedric Suarez starts. He can he can show us against Liverpool why he's better than Bellerin overall. In fact, he killed Bellerin's career with two touches. You know, big up Lee Gunner Bang for saying that, yeah? If you're listening or not, yeah, big up yourself. And if you want to say something about that in response, then yeah, let's have a conversation in my comment section below. Right, uh, my centre-half pairing. I'm going to bring in Socrates and Holding. Socrates has not played many minutes. Um, he's not got to be able to get into the first team. And um, he's not had the best of seasons. But then again, what centre-half in the world will have the best of season when you have to put up with a clown called Dave, David Luiz? So, he will get in. Alongside him will be Rob Holding. Um, I think he's still a good centre-half in the making. I feel that he's got... Um, a lot to prove for himself. He's he's got he's got to um, say to himself, I can prove to myself that I can get into this first team and put in the performances that is required of a centre half. 
And I feel that um, by playing against Liverpool here, you know, it'd be a good time to um, have a game. I think left back, oh Lord. You know what, I'm going to have to go with Tierney. I don't want to see Kalashnich at the football club. I don't want to even see him at the bow of his, let alone the football club. Tierney at left back for me. Everything that he's got, he's got all the tools to be a successful left back. He's had a handful of games. We need to give him time. You know, his season has been interrupted by injuries. So let's give this man time. He has grown into that position. His performances is growing into the shirt. And for me, a future Arsenal captain. Tierney does the things what a left back should do. Defend and attack. Tierney starts. Uh, I'm going to go with a 4-3-3. I forgot to mention before I picked the team. So it's a 4-3-3. Um, sitting between the two, Luca Terreira. For me, he, he offers us bite, tenacious tackles and um, very good on the ball. Better than Shaka would ever be on the ball. So Luca Terreira starts. Um, the two midfielders alongside him, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to go with um, Danny Ceballos. He can start um, in the midfield role where he's got a bit of a free role. And believe me, with his technical ability and the way that he's been playing this season, um, in the last three, four, maybe five games, it's been phenomenal, exceptional for me. And he's um, starting to grow as a, a professional footballer in the playing his playing his tried in the Premier League and with Arsenal, so I'm happy to start him for this game. Joe Willock, yeah, I'm going to go with someone with energy. He had a great game against the champions the last time out. All right, he was in a team that lost four three, but you had um, oh that awful. Well, he wasn't an awful manager. We had a manager who c couldn't. Um, Pick um, his best 11 or his best formation. So, or whatever formation it was, it was picked that day. He he started and he was he was all right. And I rate him highly, Joe Willock. I just think he um, in time, if he gets regular first team football with us, he's um, gonna grow into a good player. You know, by cutting out the mis um, the mistakes such as um, delivering his final ball on time and um, knowing when to shoot and pass you, you coach that out of his game and we've got a phenomenal midfield player in the future Joe Willock the front three well on the left Bakayo Saka I wanted to play him at left back just give Tierney a rest but it just goes to show that we're going to need another left back in the summer for me I want mine another left back so Makayo Saka, uh, left wing forward. That's his future position for me. So that's where he wants to play. So let's um, shove him there. He's been phenomenal this season. You know, an emergency left back here. He's had nine, ten assists. And um, he scored his first remarkable um, Premier League goal. And it was a memorable one on the half volley. Took it well. For me, he starts on the right. Nicola Pepe. Yeah, he starts on the right. I was tempted to go with Reese Nelson for this game, you know. But um, I suppose it's about salvaging pride in the... Well, not just pride, but the three points. But more pride, because we've got sweet FA to play for. Let's be real. We're not going to get fifth, you know. We're not going to get fifth. If that means we're depending on teams to um, slip up so we can get fifth, do me a favour. That just sums up, not just the weak mentality of some Arsenal fans, but it just sums up our season and our performances, our lethargic performances throughout this season. It has been lethargic, especially from a defensive point of view. But again, Nicolas Pepe, you start for me. We know on your, on your day you're a phenomenal footballer and you've got the ability of a world-class player, but we would like you to show it every week for next season because this is just another whatever game for me. 
for Liverpool, they don't even have to win this. They're just waiting for the um, title and itself in their hands. So why not? Anyway, um, in the middle, well, you know what? I'll rest uh, Aubameyang. I'm gonna go with Lacazette. You know, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play one or the other. So I'm gonna go with Lacazette. He's done nothing else wrong, and um, he scored a fine goal. Ah. Oh. A spectacular strike from 20 yards. That is, in the initial quiet itself, the strike. Shame that um, that goal did not stand that as the winning goal. Any other North, any North London derby or other North London derby, that would have won the game for us. Or, but, like as its teammates at the backs let him down. Yet again, um, atrocious defending has cost us that game, and cost us like and cost like I said to talk about a spectacular goal that uh, a spectacular winning goal that could have won us the game. But overall, you know, it just that's that's football for you. You don't take your chances. You could have eighty two percent of possession, and you still get beat. With Arsenal, it's happened time and time and time again. And this is a situation that Arteta wants to address. And I know he's going to go with a 4 through, ah, a three four three formation. I know that he's going to go with a three four three formation. I don't think he'll go at the back, the back four. And I don't blame him because he hasn't got centre-halves that are good enough to be consistently in the back four for a whole season. So... He's even made it clear to the board, this is what I've got to put up with. And he said it, you know, in his press conference, this is what I've got to put up with. So he's telling the board, you best back me or I will sink, not swim. So that's my starting 11. Now my bench. Hopefully Damian Martinez um, gets a proper day off. I won't even put him in a squad because he, des- it, because he so deserves a rest. But I'm going to put him on the bench. Um, Mustafi. What, a, what an atrocious last 15 minutes he had. He was diabolical. Utterly diabolical. Unacceptable performance against Tottenham. It's like he, he, he ne- he's not known about Tottenham and he does. He scored a brilliant header in the North London derby that we won 2-0. At the Emirates, him and Sanchez getting the goals. He's got a brilliant header from a set piece, but he's forgotten what day it was, what team he was playing against. His performance in the last 15 minutes was shambolic, but he still has to go on the bench. Uh, fortunately, um, the options for centre-halves are very low, so David Lewis. I mean, he wasn't at fault for any of the goals, but he first, what, the first under... The first, what, 20 odd seconds, nearly 30 seconds, he's drilling on the ball, gets it taken off him, and it, it causes us to face a shot from Lucas Moura. Luckily, Martinez was there to save his bacon. Anyway, Lover Lewis on the bench. Ainsley Maitland Niles makes the bench. He hasn't done too much wrong. Oh, but then again, I would have started him. Over Bellerin on Sunday or Cedric Suarez, but I'm gonna go with Maitland Niles on the bench. Bellerin on the bench for me. He didn't. He, he had a. He wasn't too bad, but obviously, he wasn't too bad on Sunday. I can't really criticize him as such, but for me, just when you talk about his consistency you know, over the last three, four, maybe five years. It's a sorry 4 out of 10. But when you talk about Bellerin um, last week, Sunday, he wasn't too bad. Maybe, oh, I don't know. He wasn't too bad. He did um, get forward, skim pass over a Tottenham defender, low low crossing, and Aubameyang sliced his um, chance. And another day, the, the amount of chances he had, he could have had 4. But, um, anyway, Bellerin... He wasn't too bad, offensively, more than defensive. 
So he's on the bench. Um, I'm going to look at some midfielders. Granit Xhaka. He may come on. He, if he does make the bench on Thursday, he may come on for the last 20-odd minutes. So, yeah, he, he slows the game down. He can't be trusted on the ball. Off the ball, he'll have one stupid tackle and it will cost the team a goal, cost the team points. And he's done that for his four years at Arsenal. But however, however uh, I'm just putting him on the bench. Substitute number six. This is a difficult one for me. Substitute number six. I don't think... I, I could say Guadozzi and Ozil, but Arteta don't want them part of his plans. I think he's made that clear. Who is it? Who is it? Mid, what, goalkeeper done. Defence done. Kolasinic. Yeah. What a dense pass. What the heck was he thinking about? If he opened his eyes or used his brain or whatever it was he was supposed to do, he could have gone to, he could have aimed a pass at ten, he aimed at a pass at another Arsenal player. But God did not give him the right foot. His excuse is he can't he can only stand on his right foot. Oh, atrocious he was. He's on the bench. And I'm putting these players on the bench, like the Lewis's and the Kalasinich's on the and the Bellerins on the bench because like Arteta, I've got to work with that. Whether on the pitch, starting or on the bench. Bench number seven. Oh. I haven't got much in options. Bench num um substitute number seven, Reese Nelson. Yeah, he came on, didn't do too much, he didn't have much of an impact, so he starts on my bench for me. Um anyone in the midfield that I missed out on? Shane Martin then he's injured. He should be start he would be a starter. Right, now we're gonna find out how long or it will take for him to come back into full fitness. Uh, substitute number eight, Pierre Emerick Abamian. Hopefully, he won't be needed for this game, but he may just, if he is on the bench, he may just come on. Pierre Emerick Abamian. Because I want to save his legs for the FA Cup semi final versus City. Uh, oh. Substitute number nine. I'll go with um, another youngster from the academy. 89 years of age. He goes by the name of Folarin Balugu. Yes, with a Nigerian name. Nigerian by descent. But um, English by nationality. Regardless of his name. And Kalechi, if you're hearing this year... He can play for England if he chooses to. Or by descent, yes, he can play for Nigeria. But if he's born and bred in England, he is entitled to play for England. Not all Nigerian... Not all um, Nigerian blacks in heritage here yeah, have to play for Niger uh, Nigeria because they've been given a first and last name from Nigerian parents. You know, they 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 can play for England. You know, not for the, the, um, the famous Super Eagles. Nothing personal. I like you, Kelechi. I've got time for you. But, you know, call it how it is. You've got to, you've got to share the westernized love. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, Falorin Balogun, I've heard good reports from him and how talented he is and how many goals he has scored. Don't know too much of him. I've not watched much of him. I mean, someone like Deluded, he could um, possibly tell me a little bit more about him. But, yeah, let's see. So that's my um, starting eleven and um, 
my formation sorted and my substitutes being sorted. Hopefully, we just go out and um, put some pride into the club, into the shirt itself, and give this, give us fans, millions of fans, something positive to talk about, yeah? So, um, before I go, I'm going to say it again. If you feel that um, the team, the formation that I've picked, yeah, if you've got an, if you've got a, an opinion about the formation or the team that I've picked and the substitution bench that I've picked, then drop it in my comment section below. Smash the thumbs up like button abundantly and um, help me please subscribe to my channel. Please help me subscribe. Smash that subscribe button passionately and hard, yeah? That's the main one as well, yeah? L like and comment all, all day. But the big one, the main one for me is help me please subscribe to my channel. That's IDLG Repping, yeah? Your guy, your host, ladies and gentlemen, to the boys, to the girls, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for um, putting up with me as well, yeah? I'll be back um, in the evening again just to do a, another um, video based on football context, yeah? Not just on my team, but all clubs in England, out of England, anything that, that is worth um, a talk about, yeah? I'm here. So thank you for listening once again, yeah? Peace again, love again, and bless again. This is your host, this is your guy, DLG Repping. I'm out of here. Good night and rest well. Laters.